In this video, I would like to introduce Mr. Saurav Kumar Gupta, who secured All India Rank 43 in Mechanical Engineering paper in GATE 2024. Uh, Saurav, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Uh, Saurav, it seems you have availed from AS Academy in the AS Online uh, test series for your GATE preparation. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Saurav, uh, from this uh, AS Online test series, what did you learn extra in your preparation? So this has benefited me in many ways. Actually, test series, we know that it is very important while you are preparing for any competitive exams. So, so the way in which AS benefited me is that uh, the questions level were a bit, a bit, uh, we can say tougher side of the what comes in the general exams. So it, it makes us prepare for a more higher level. So when we sit for exams, we can see that the questions that are come, we are prepared for all type of questions because we have already, already uh, dealt with a much harder type questions. So this has helped me. Uh, and also in the last one month, I have focused mainly on, mainly on test series. So this, I, I think in exam also, it has helped me a lot. Good, Saurabh. Saurabh, may you know, which college are you from? So I am from NIT Jamshedpur. NIT Jamshedpur. When did you pass out? So I'm in final year right now. Final year. Great. Yes. Uh, great. Saurabh. Uh, many students say that uh, uh, while studying the third year or final year in a, a college, simultaneously preparing for the comp exam like a gate, it is somewhat uh, hard. So, did you ever feel such a hardship in your preparation? If so, how you used to plan that uh, study hours? So, actually, I did find it a bit challenging. Uh, actually, uh, while you are in semester, you have to manage your academics also, their exams the practicals and apart from that you have to keep preparing for gate examination also so so the way in which i dealt with that i maintained consistently consistency daily if not possible i mean minimum one hour or two hour i used to give for my studies and when it was holidays like it was saturday or sun sunday i used to give more focus on my this gate preparation side so in this way we can uh, uh, we can overcome this challenge but yes uh, apart from uh, I mean, in final, being in uh, being in college, it, it is a bit challenging. But we can overcome this if we have uh, did, if we have uh, determined that yes, we have to crack this exam. Then I, I I think that it can be it is possible to crack this exam. Yes, sir, certainly you are the best example, right? You are the best example. You could make the parallel the preparation for your uh, gate exam, uh, similar studying in this university syllabus also. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Saurabh, uh, seriously. When did you start preparation for this uh, gate examination? So actually, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, when our college started, it was COVID time. So first two years were just in online mode, and I did not had much idea about this gate gate exam. So when our college got opened in offline mode, then we came in contact with I came in contact with my seniors and my friends. So from then, uh, and I think it was at the end of third year, uh, uh, around. Uh, uh, November or December when I came to know about this gate examination and I thought I, I, found, I found that this is a good site for me to explore this site so I decided to prepare from that and uh, I actually started my preparation from we can say April or May 2023 when our summer vacation was there it was a two to three months gap so I started full focus in, in that time and I tried to maximize during that and from then on continuously I was consistently giving time to my this preparation side. So this was uh, when I started. Right. Good. Uh, Saro, uh, if you see this ES Academy online test, there are uh, many tests there. So yes, at what frequency is to take this uh, test along with the, your preparation? Sir, I mean, in if you see there are many types of tests, like they are subject-wise, they are topic-wise tests. So I used to give this topic wise and subject wise while I was covering my syllabus. I mean, we can say when I was in September, October, like, but when I reached in the last one and one and a half months, from then on, I started giving the mock test. So, but one thing I that found that uh, revision is very critical thing in this. It can decide your, I mean, it, it can decide whether you are going to get good rank or not. Uh, I mean, in December, though my, my, some of, I mean, partial of my syllabus was completed. Something was left out, but I I I realized that uh, 
I had not revised whatever I have learned. So from then on, I focused on division at the same time. Uh, I mean, if you are uh, just one month before, if you see, we should start giving mock tests at interval of three to four days. And after giving full length mock test, it is important that we analyze what are our mistakes. We should just not focus on what marks we are getting. It, sometimes we can get low marks also. So the important factor is that we have to analyze which area we are making mistakes, what are type of mistakes that we are making and revising accordingly to that. So how used to keep a track of all these mistakes that you were committing in this online test? So I used to note down in a copy. I mean, I had I had divided the entire syllabus into four sections actually. So first first section was my aptitude and mathematics. Second section was my uh, design part covering SOM and uh, TOM and uh, all, all that design portion. Then third section was my fluid and thermal part, and fourth was my production and industrial. So uh, so after giving the test, I, I I mean I used to check the analysis part. So from there, I used to just uh, write down that in which topics I am making uh, how many mistakes and mistakes can be of various types. Like uh, uh, you are making in calculation mistakes uh, or while reading the question. I mean, in exam, there are, uh, you, I, our mind needs to be, we can make mistakes while reading the question also. So these are these were the things that I used to note down. Okay, you said that you divided your mechanical syllabus into some five sections. Did you yes, focus sir. equally on all these five sections? Yes, sir. Or did you do any priority for these sections? I mean, sir, I, I used to prioritize those sections which were a bit, uh, uh, I mean, I was weak in, in that part. Like, uh, I was a bit, uh, uh, I, I faced difficulty in uh, theory of machine parts. So, I prioritized that section and accordingly, I, I gave weightage to uh, other sections also. Okay. Honestly, Saurabh, uh, did you prepare this 100% syllabus thoroughly or... Uh, anything yes, like a 90, 95, 85, something like that. I would rather say it was uh, 80 to 85 percent. I mean, my production industrial part was uh, almost I left out that part. I only covered in the last 15 to 20 days. I just covered some of the important topics that were there. So how much you said? 80 to 85 percent. Yes, sir. 80 to 85 percent. Yes, sir. Okay. And moreover, preparing the 100 percent syllabus and that too studying the what do you call BTEC? Yes, sir. Not it possible always for all the students. So in such case, one can prioritize according to the weightage given in the gate exam. Yes, and they can focus, right? Yes, sir. This approach can be really useful. I mean, when you have got limited time, we should focus on the, those topics which are having more weightage rather than spending time on those topics which are having a less weightage. But if you are having ample time, I would prefer, I would say that we once would go to cover all the syllabus that that is there because if uh, it is not going to help in your subjective test it will help in your interview part that is also the scene there yes yes yeah we always say that uh, if time permits prepare everything yes sir in case you have any constraint with that time at least to focus 90 percent otherwise 80 percent depending upon the time available yes sir okay uh one more uh, mr saurabh kumar you were saying that uh, revision so how we used to revise it? What is the source for the revision purpose? Did you prepare any short notes, any some formula notes, something like that? So, uh, so actually, my main uh, my main uh, revision part was from my notes only. But as the exam came nearby, it was not possible to go through the whole syllabus, uh, whole th notes uh, of a of a subject. So I used I made a short notes of my own, and uh, when the exam came nearby, just two to three weeks earlier. So I just daily, at least on uh, once a day, I used to uh, revise or go through all those short notes of the of, of whatever chapters I've made. Sort of what you used to write in this uh, short notes in each subject, but the exact sir, content I, there. Yes, sir. sir uh, short notes should uh, I mean when uh, at the starting when I was making short notes, uh, I was I saw I saw after I made the short notes, I saw that. Uh, I had written down all the things, but then I realized that no, short notes should consist mainly on what the important formulas that are there, whatever weak areas that you are especially facing while solving questions, you can just put a star mark and write there that uh, solved by this method or solved by this method. So it should, uh, it should be precise, focused mostly on formulas. And if you think something important is there, like while revision also solving questions, we find many difficulties. So we can just put it in there in the short notes. Right. 
so uh, mr saurav from this uh, successful uh, journey right uh, yes sir what do you want to uh, give some tips to this uh, students of uh, mechanical engineering particularly those who are pursuing third year and then final year those who want to give gate exam simultaneous sir what 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 i want to say to my juniors is that uh, we must first of all you say, you have to decide what is your priority once you have to first of all you have to decide what is your priority like uh, whether you really want to crack this exam or you want to go for campus placements or whatever it is once you have decided that this is my goal then the time that then time management is very much important you have to make a uh, very effective strategy according to whatever time you have so accordingly you have to make a strategy and and consistency is very much important even if you are studying for one hour it can be some days like when academic exams are going on you won't be able to give uh, time to your gate preparation side so make sure whenever you have holidays you maximize your uh, studying hours and when you, it is busy hours you just go through revision part and the most important part is the last phase last phase of preparation at that time you have to give all that you have because if you get deviated at that time then you then all your uh, hard work can be just uh, waste because uh, last time it is very much important to stay focused and concentrated on whatever you have and make a good strategy good good sort of i think uh, this points will be very very useful to the aspirants of the gate examination right this main yes. points like uh, what you said uh, revision and then this uh, appropriate source for the quick revision yes problems for developing the problem solving skills right the test yes. series and then a thorough understanding of the subjects and then the pyqs pyqs all this uh, must be thoroughly focus of your students particularly yes. planning planning is very important especially for yes, the students that is very much uh, uh, btech third year or final year they have to always allocate some amount of time exclusively for this gate preparation Yes, you know, it is possible. As you said, you can maximize whenever the student finds some holidays, etc. Weekends, right? right. Yes, sir. very good. Uh, useful points, Mr. Sarobi has shared with us. Right. I once again congratulate you, and uh, you, wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, sir.